hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel this is remote control for samsung sandbar basically with this remote control you can control your sandbar i'm going to show you how to set this up and also give you the information that you need to know how the functions work okay from the back here you need to push this okay push it downwards to open it up and it's using double air battery so you just need to put your hand inside to remove the battery and if you want to change the battery you just need to check the section where it's written negative or positive then you make sure you put the batteries in in that format in, okay so once you're done use the cover just slide it in And this is in just slide it in now from the remote control okay this button here is for you to switch turn the sandbar on and off auto power down function the unit turn off automatically in the following situation in the i in hdmi wi-fi bluetooth mode and if there is no audio signal for 18 minutes now this button here this one is the input or source so you press to select the source connected to the sandbar so you press this button for you to select the input change it from hdmi to bluetooth or optical digital audio okay and this button here okay it's like the settings so you press this button okay and for you to control the tremble bars sync center level side level front top level rear level rear top level and visual on and off so use this okay basically sound control is this button okay so you control the sound control the volume of the tremble or bars and select tremble or bars in the sound setting and then adjust the volume between six plus or six minus by using the up and down okay up and down side button okay so this is really for you to control the volume and also to control the volume of the each speaker selected the center level side and front so this is the function of this okay this is control center this button here is for you to pause and play so the center button is for you to pause and play okay now this button here is for you to select surround you can also use this but some some remote control will have this button as a mute for you to cancel off the sound now this button here is for you to select sound mode you can use this button here for you to select the sound mode like voice game standard you can select desire mode by Choosing standard, surround, game, pro, and adaptive sound. So standard output the original sound. Surround sound provide a wide sound field than standard. And game pro provide stereoscopic sound to immerse you in action while gaming. Adaptive mode analyze the content in real time and automatically provide optimal sound field based on characteristic of the content okay and this button here is bluetooth so you select this button switch the sound back to bluetooth pairing mode so once you use the input to select particular mode you want okay if you select bluetooth then you need to once you select bluetooth you need to select bluetooth to okay to put this in a bluetooth mode this button here is for you to increase the volume and I also decrease the volume if you want to increase the volume then you need to push it up you push it up if you want to decrease the volume then the same thing you need to push it down now this one is subwoofer control the the bars okay you can also increase the bars up likewise decrease it so this basically these are really the main features of this sandbar and also like I mentioned here this is for you to press the indicate area to 
basically pause the center one now you also have the side and up and down so you select the side okay you can also use the side to skip music you can also use use the option okay for you to select id setup okay basically press right button to select the next music now press the left to button to select the previous music so press the right to select the next music then press this left to select the previous up and down for id setup when power off press and hold the up button for five seconds then to perform id setup so you press this okay for five seconds to perform id setup the center one is for you to play and pause music by pressing the button so you play and pause music by pressing the center button it's also it will show you okay so basically these are the things like i, I said earlier something that i thought to share with you and also i hope this will help you like uh, this is really uh, about control sound control you press this by setting such as treble bars sync center level side level front top level rear level so this is actually um what this function is this button here and it's uh, this is something that I thought to share with you because I notice a lot of people sometimes struggle to know exactly how this works. So this button here is for you to select input. Okay, so change it from HDMI, ARC, or optical cable. Or if you select Bluetooth, once you select Bluetooth here, then you need to press the Bluetooth, okay, for the soundbar to be in Bluetooth mode. The center one is pause and play. Like right button here is for you to you know select the music you want to play front that like backwards is for you to select the previous music then up is for you to basically set the id and the surround is for you to put the sound back in the surround mode but also sometimes some sound some remote control might have mute button here so that for you to mute the audio okay so but this this particular one is just showing us surround here is for you to select the surround mode and also you can see sound mode for you to select standard game adaptive or music so some also for you to be able to select clear voice so it depends on particular sound bar you are using now this one left button here is for you to increase the volume and also decrease the volume okay so guys this is something that i thought to share with you samsung remote control all the features and things you need to know about it okay i hope this helped you